VoiceOver for iOS Lesson 1 How to turn VoiceOver on and off In this video So in this video I will cover the following topics I'll explain what VoiceOver is and also what a screen reader is and what a screen reader can and can't do and I'll show you the various ways of turning VoiceOver on and off About this course this course aims to provide an introduction to using the VoiceOver screen reader with iOS 14 on the iPhone. During this course I'll be using an iPhone XR running iOS 14. This is both a video and audio course. I hope this course will prove useful to both sight impaired people learning to use an iPhone on their own and sighted family and friends who are helping a sighted person to use an iPhone. Horse notes are available for this video and I provided a link for them in the description. So what is voiceover? Well I think the best way to explain voiceover is to let voiceover explain itself. Hello, I am voiceover and I am a screen reader. A screen reader is an application that can output information displayed on a computer screen into speech or to a braille display. Using braille with voiceover is beyond the scope of this course. I am the screen reader that comes with Apple products and in addition to running on iOS devices I also run on Mac OS, Watch OS. This course concentrates on the iOS edition of voiceover for the iPhone. We screen readers are designed to read textual information on the screen we are unable to. Entered list bullet. Describe images though thanks to artificial intelligence we are getting better at it. Bullet. Make poorly designed websites and applications accessible. Bullet. Make very visual games accessible. Exited list. New line. How to turn voiceover on and off. There are three ways to turn voiceover on and off. Either by using Siri, using the accessibility shortcut, or via the settings menu. You can turn voiceover on and off from anywhere on your iPhone when you are using Siri or the accessibility shortcut. So to activate Siri, I press and hold the sleep wake button. Turn on voiceover. Okay, voiceover is now on. Now I press the sleep wake button again. Salesforce. Double tap to open. And VoiceOver will read the first item on my screen. If I want to turn VoiceOver off, I press and hold the sleep wake button again and say turn off VoiceOver. Turn off VoiceOver. Vo okay, I've turned VoiceOver off. And press the sleep wake button again to clear that. If my phone had a home button, I would use the home button instead. Using the accessibility shortcut. The accessibility shortcut gives you quick access to the accessibility features in iOS. To access it, you need to triple click on the sleep wake button. So to do that, I just do one, two, three. And now a menu appears on my screen. Depending on how your phone is set up, VoiceOver will either start or a menu will appear from which you may select it from a list of options. So all I have to do is just press VoiceOver. VoiceOver on. Salesforce. Double tap to open. And that starts VoiceOver. If I triple press the sleep wake button again. Alert. Accessibility shortcuts. That will bring up the accessibility shortcut menu. And now I can navigate to the voiceover option by swiping to the right with one finger. Magnifier. Smart invert. Selected. Voiceover. Button and double tap anywhere on the screen. Voiceover off. 
You may need to set up the accessibility shortcut on your phone. To do this, press settings, come down to accessibility, and come down to the bottom of the menu and press accessibility shortcut. You can choose as many accessibility features as you want. Uh, however, if you choose only one, triple clicking on the sleep wake button will enable or disable that feature. If you pick more than one, then the menu that you saw earlier will appear. Starting voiceover from the settings menu. The voiceover menu in settings is where you can customise various options uh, within voiceover, such as the voices used, set up custom gestures, and other ways that voiceover behaves. And we'll look at it in more detail later on in the course. So, to access that from the home screen, press settings, then we we'll come down to accessibility, and then tap on voiceover and at the top of the screen we have a voiceover toggle switch if I press that voiceover on settings accessibility back button and that will activate voiceover so here are some gestures that will prove useful when using voiceover you can select any item on screen, either by dragging your finger around the screen. Voiceover. Um, Voiceover speaks items on the screen. Alternatively, you can move between the next and the previous options by swiping with one finger. So to move to the next option, I swipe to the right with one finger. Tap once to select an item. Double tap to act, learn more. Voiceover practice. Button. If I want to go back, then I swipe to the left with one finger. Learn more. Double tap to activate. Tap once to select. Voiceover speak. Voiceover. Um. Double um, tap to toggle setting. When I'm doing this, I'm just stroking the screen very gently. I'm not applying any pressure to the screen. This menu is spread over several screens. So if I want to scroll up a screen, then I use three fingers and I swipe up. Rows 7 to 18 of 18. If I want to scroll back up, then I use three fingers and I swipe down. Rows 1 to 9 of 18. If I want to go back to the home menu, I place my finger on the edge of the phone and then I'll drag it upwards until I hear a tone and then I lift my finger Sit. and that takes me back to the home screen. If I want to move one screen to the right I use three fingers and I swipe them to the left. Page three of six Accessible. If Double want, tap to open. If I want to move one screen to the left, I use three fingers and I swipe to the right. Page two of six. Salesforce. Double tap to open. While I'm using VoiceOver, I can actually navigate without the screen turned on. This allows for privacy and it also conserves the batteries. So to activate the screen curtain, I triple tap quickly with three fingers. One, two, three. Screen curtain on. I can still access the screen as if the screen was turned on. Clock. Settings. Braille coder. Loading. In iCloud. All I've done is turn the display off. If I triple tap with three fingers again, that will turn the screen back on. Screen curtain off. We hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then please hit the like button and consider subscribing to our channel to find out when we create new videos. If you'd like to learn more about Sightairdale, then please visit our website or join us on Facebook.